everyone, it's Froggy, and I'm back again with another episode of Will a Wonderful World. So we're still on a countdown. Let's keep going. Key evidence. Okay, let's do this. Cheng Jong Min. All right. The wind was so strong that I could barely open my eyes when I came out of Officer Min Jun's home. I'm glad that we're not timed during this part. I think I'd be having a panic attack if that were the case. I held the recorder in my hand as tightly as I could. It was the final lead that Officer Min Jun had left for us. It was also the only evidence that could prove Lieutenant Kang's innocence. Lieutenant Kim had been behind everything the entire time. No wonder he wouldn't let me get anywhere near the case. I would never have expected that I would be living in a movie thriller about traitors in the police force. I put the recorder into my back po into the back pocket of my pants when I sensed somebody looking at me from a nearby building. I looked up just in time to see a dark shadow moving away from the window. I had a bad feeling, so I started running. No matter what happened, I had to take the evidence to the police station and hand it to someone that I could trust. On my way back to the station, there was a pedestrian bridge. At the other end of the bridge was some woods. I could see eight, no, nine amateurs hiding in the shadows of the trees staring at me. One of them had just turned off his flashlight. Their weaknesses were out in the open. So these were the people who Lieutenant Kim had sent after me? No, maybe they had been sent here to kill me. Perhaps the shadow I had seen earlier in the window saw me leaving, and they had realized that I might have something on them. Even still, these losers were no match for me at all. Fine. Come at me. I might as well just send them all to jail. I stomped my right foot hard on the ground and dashed across the bridge in a zigzag. I heard 16 gunshots, but by the time... Ooh... The bullet casings fell to the ground I was already hiding high up in a tree in the woods. The mob beneath me was panicking. After all, they were just a bunch of pathetic lackeys who had no formal training. Some of them were even stupid enough to turn their flashlights back on, exposing their positions. I had always thought that the police were a symbol of justice. Never would I have ever imagined that one day I would be fighting against them. Oh, well, all right. But I knew better now. It didn't matter who the opponent was. What mattered was that justice will prevail! I checked again to make sure that the recorder was still tucked safely in my back pocket. Then I held my tail in my palm. I leapt down from the tree and pounced... We he zwe what? One of the acupuncture points on the human body according to traditional Chinese medicine. The earliest record of it being mentioned could be found in acupuncture scripture, an ancient Chinese gospel on acupuncture. It is located at the intersection between the center line on top of a person's head and the line that goes over the top of the skull and connects the ears. It is the highest acupuncture point on the human body. According to Shaolin scripture on fist fighting, the art of acupressure recognizes 36 crucial acupuncture points. Bai Hui Zui, I don't know how to say that, is one of them. Modern science has yet to confirm the effect of acupuncture and acupuncture points. However, according to TCM theories, acupuncture is supposed to be effective in some cases. For instance, rubbing this area lightly could help a person become more focused and alert. Neat! Okay, on three men under the cover of rustling leaves, these idiots all had their flashlights on. One was wearing a Hawaiian shirt, another was in a pair of beach shorts, and the last was in a leather jacket. All three of them fell, one after another. There were six other men nearby. I climbed back up the tree. I repeated the attack several times. Soon, I had taken several of them out. A bullet grazed me near my back pocket, and I could feel the burn on my butt. I reached for my back pocket. I jumped down out of the tree. The ninth man was also taken out after I hit him in the same acupuncture point. The bullet had punctured my back pocket. The recorder I had put inside was smashed into pieces and scattered all over the grass. 
Damn it! I was too careless. I thought it was the ninth man who had fired at me. But I realized that he wasn't even carrying a gun when I had come down out of the tree. So there was someone else who had taken the shot. I looked around. I couldn't see any sign of a tenth person. Whoever it was, they must be someone good. And they might have already left the scene. Their only purpose must have been to destroy the evidence, not to kill me. They must have t had total confidence that even if I had told someone about what I had witnessed and heard in person, no one would ever believe me. Now I had lost my only concrete evidence. Damn it. Damn it! How could I let this happen? I punched a nearby tree out of frustration. I hit it so hard that a few birds' nests fell out. I heard birds chirping in panic above me, and the sound of their wings flapping. Please, Buddha, please guide me. If I can avenge Officer Min Jun, prove Lieutenant Kang's innocence, and defend justice, I am willing to give everything I have. Cheng Jun Min. Alright, buddy. We're gonna we're gonna try and help you out, man. Alright, let's see what we got here. A bullet grazed me near my back pocket. Reached for my back pocket, jumped down on the tree, and ninth man was also taken out. Alright. Try that. Okay. I felt my butt with my hand. Luckily, the Buddha, bleh, bullet had only grazed my pants and had not hurt me. Feeling a little relieved, I looked up to see that the, where the bullet had come from. The moon peeked out from behind the rain clouds. The tenth person walked out from behind a tree four meters away. Moonlight shone through the trees and cast a spotty shadow upon his face. It was a face that resembled an old and cunning fox. He looked to be around 40 years old. His eyes and mouth were slightly bent, forming a ruthless expression on his face. Where is it? His voice was squeaky, a perfect match for his looks. Whoops, okay. Without saying one word, I flung my tail towards him and it quickly wrapped around his right hand, which was holding his gun. The tail was wrapping more and more tightly around his wrist. But before I could force him to drop the gun, he raised his left hand to support the other. And then pulled the trigger. I raised my left hand in front of my face. The bullet pierced through the skin and drilled into the muscle. However, it stopped next to my radial bone. I put down my arm, but before I could see what was going on, the old fox had charged right up in front of me. He poked two fingers straight into my eyes. A horrifying scream echoed in the woods. The birds fluttered and scattered as they flew away. I... Surrender. I knelt on the ground and covered my eyes with one hand while warm blood oozed out of them. Ugh. I pounded the ground in defeat. What you want is in a bird's nest, in that tree over there. The old fox heard what I had said and walked behind me and to my left. He stood there for a moment and bent his knees just a little. The final piece of evidence was going to fall into his hands. Or not! My tail morphed into a silver spear heading straight towards the old fox's chest. Attack number ten! Heart-piercing spear! The old fox must have never expected a blind foe could still fight back. He probably regretted not killing me when he had the chance. But his chance was gone. The tail went through his heart, and he could only let out a gasp. When he fell to the ground, he was dead. I stood back up, wiped the blood off my face so that I could see a little, albeit not well. Despite my mostly red, limited field of vision, I jumped up the tree and fetched the recorder from the bird's nest. I couldn't delay for one more moment. I continued running towards the station, hoping that nothing else would go wrong. Oh! Yay! I wasn't expecting to get it. That's awesome. All right. All right. All right. So because we're on a timer, and I want to make sure that I'm able to do this without running out of time and that I have enough time in between the uh, files, I guess, I'm going to mostly try and do them in separate episodes. So that being said, I'm going to end this one here for today. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you want to see more videos from me, then don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Thanks for watching.